Of course, with struct components, we also want to make sure that they're styled correctly. So in this uh, in this video, let's go over how we can apply a stylist uh, to a struct component and uh, maybe maybe like change something about this displaying. Uh, so let's come back to our code. Let's open up our uh, struct hello. Now we don't have to do that entire functional um, uh, like styled component um, uh, because it's already a struct. So in this case, we just need to bring in the prelude for uh, used uh, stylist. Actually, I, I, I forget that it doesn't have a, uh, a prelude. Um, uh, so instead, we're just going to use some of the, the methods and the, uh, the macros for it. So to begin with, uh, we're going to store the actual styles uh, in, in the state here. So in this case, we're just going to do style sheet. And you're going to be a style which means we need to now put that here. Now we could just do the style directly at this point, but uh, I sort of feel it would be better to, um, uh, to just have this be a separate function here. So I'm gonna actually put this as an impl on struct hello. So impl struct hello, uh, pub function. Actually, it doesn't need to be public. We're just gonna do a function, uh, maybe like style. Um, we're going to have a reference to a self here, and we're going to return a style. And so now we can just return the style macro. There you go. That should have imported that for us. Uh, and then it's the R our pound, and then we're going to return that. Um, okay, so uh, what do we want to put in here? Uh, I want this H1 to be like, let, let's change it to something like green. So we're just going to say color green. Um, expected extra. Oh, it's a result here. Uh, so I want to unwrap you. That then becomes this style coming out here. So now we can we can use that at this point in time. Um, now create, I'm actually noticing right now, this doesn't give us a self. Uh, we have a self right here. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this not take uh, self, which means that I can use capital S self to then run this this method here. So we're going to do a uh, style sheet and we're going to do self colon colon style to actually generate that style sheet. Okay, now to apply it, uh, we just need to say a class equals um, and then this is going to be self dot style sheet. Uh, we cannot move you out, uh, so we should be able to clone you. And if we head back to here, we now have a green, um, a green Hello World uh, title. Now, if we wanted more advanced uh, styles for ourselves, uh, we would just maybe have a wrapper around this, and then we wouldn't have just like a directly uh, styling the H1, but like, you know, divs and um, we can like get the H1 tag directly, but that was all covered in the stylist uh, uh, lesson. So basically everything else is exactly the same styling wise. We just, uh, we just moved around where we're creating the style sheet and then just accessing a variable here. It makes the HTML and the, the entire view function a little bit simpler. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.